It's the zoo! We are here! Wow! There are so many different areas in the zoo! Yeah, there are Formosan Animal Area, Fern Garden, Children's Zoo, Asian Tropical Rainforest Animal Area, Water Garden, Desert and Australia Animal Area, African Animals Area, Bird World, Temperate Zone Animal Area. Hmm, and there are also Education Center, Insectarium, Insect Valley, Conservation Corridor, Koala House, Giant Panda House, Nocturnal Animal House, Cool Energy Conservation House, Amphibian and Reptile House, Penguin House. Wow, that's great! Let's go and explore together! The newly arrived pandas are waiting for us too! Formosa, Unique Beauty Sabadium Taiwanese Quo is a very distinctive species, which is only found in Taiwan. It can efficiently prevent wounds from bleeding. Wow! A pangolin! That's so cool! The pangolin is a very unique, scale-covered mammal, which is good at digging. It sleeps during the day and comes out at night to hunt for food. The pangolin uses its long and sticky tongue to catch its main food, termites and ants. Due to its slow movement, the pangolin will roll himself up and form a hard and slick shell when encountering predator attack. Look! A Formosan rock monkey! Wow! The Formosan rock monkey is the only primate found in Taiwan besides human beings. They live on a variety of fruits, berries, and leaves, and usually gather in groups of 10 to 30 monkeys, with one large male monkey as the leader. Taiwan really has a lot of unique animals and plants. There are zoos everywhere. Isn't this a cropland? I thought a zoo was... Look! What's that? A cropland is a type of habitat. Without using pesticides, farms can be the greatest habitat for dragonflies, fireflies, snails, frogs, and many other small creatures. Sometimes you can even see migratory birds. My grandmother has a small cropland, so our family has a zoo too. Yes, there are zoos everywhere around us. Let's go! Rainforest Studies Reservations The tropical rainforest is teeming with all sorts of animals. There are macaques at the river mouth, tapirs at the edge of the forest, and in the deep of the forest, you'll find leopards, tigers, and the Asian elephants. Oh, it's raining heavily! Ha! <laughs> it seems like we are in a different country. Hmm, that tapir is really weird looking. That's because the rainforest is a very unique environment in which the animals slowly evolve to adapt to specific conditions. For example, the tapir usually comes out at night, so its black and white fur becomes the best natural camouflage. Meanwhile, the leopard spots are also a form of camouflage. Wow! That's amazing! The rainforest is really a classroom for learning! Is everybody ready? We're going to Africa to learn now! The Secrets of the African Savanna. School is now in session. Okay, kids, we're gonna start now. If you know the answer, don't blurt it out. The first question is, why the giraffe has such a long neck? 
Second, is a zebra white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Lastly, question is, where lemurs live in Africa? I know, I know! I know too! Ask me! <laughs> Easy now, kids. Let's all go to the African area to find the answers to these questions. Kids, when you visit the zoo, please be sure to wear comfortable clothes and shoes for walking. Comfortable clothes and shoes for walking. And don't forget to bring a bottle of water. And suntan lotion and protection against insect bites. We'll, we'll be, be back, back again. again! Don't forget, you can come to the zoo by bus, Malcolm Gondola, or by the MRT.